Welcome to the AFL 360 and the Portress and Port Fan Radio for that matter. Footy tips for round 12. Round 12 of the season. Man, it's flying. Um, Mark, we've got Mark on the line. Hey, Mark, how are you? Hey, Matt. Hey, listeners. Um, hey, what a what an exciting round. Round 12 already. And uh, we, we've got some um, really interesting games and actually a, a little bit more challenging. I wonder how many people are going to get nine out of nine this week. Yeah, I reckon it'll um, yeah, it, a bit of a flat start with tonight's game, but it'll, it'll uh, build up throughout uh, the, the weekend. Um, all right, Mark, let's get into it. Uh, tonight, uh, Essendon are hosting Hawthorne at the uh, Etihad Stadium, uh, Essendon's home game. Uh, your tip for the game and your margin and why? Yeah, okay. Well, uh, the Bombers will bomb. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, Hawthorne aren't really great at, at thrashing sides. They'll, they'll, they're really good at beating teams by about 30 or 40, maybe 50 or something like that. They're, 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 it's not very often that they'll they'll run it out by a hundred. Um, I tell you what, uh, I, I, I'd, I'd be tempted for the percentage if I was uh, Hawthorne. Um, I will, I, I'll call it at Hawthorne by ten goals. Yep, I'm going with Hawthorne by hundred points. I reckon they will need the percentage yep. and they'll use it. Surprise me. Essendon are just going from kind of bad to worse, and uh, that's a big win to Hawthorne. Tomorrow afternoon, the early game, Port Adelaide are hosting Western Bulldogs. And my tip is Port Adelaide by two points. Um, I'm not confident, but I'm confident they'll put up a battle. And um, I'm hoping they get over the line. Uh, just a little bit of home ground advantage. And uh, uh, the Port Adelaide fans hopefully uh, help wield the power of the line. Your tip? Okay, I, I'm going put by um, 26. Uh, statistically, our uh, clashes have not really been close, so uh, not to say it won't happen. Uh, it really goes back down to uh, how well is uh, Bonapelli, Liberatore and Stringer uh, uh, curtailed from running amok, uh, and that will be um, – it'd be really good to see um, how uh, Ebert, Ebo goes uh, and who he's on because he has been an absolute godsend with, with tagging um, uh, and uh, he's right up there with uh, um, uh, our, our uh, uh, past taggers, um, uh, Kane Corns especially. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, uh, 26 points. Now, we've got the Port Adelaide and Western Bulldogs. Let's start that again. Now, Port Adelaide and Western Bulldogs game is actually uh, it's kind of a standalone Saturday afternoon game uniquely because the uh, the other Saturday game is going to be pulled back to a Monday for the Queen's birthday, the, the, the Melbourne and Collingwood game. So there might be a bit of a high attendance on that as well. Uh, Brisbane uh, in the afternoon are hosting Fremantle at the Gabba. Your tip and margin? Um, Brisbane at Gabba, Gabba um, versus Fremantle. Well, Brisbane, um, I mean, uh, will win at home. I they're expe- expect that they will win uh, at home. Fremantle, um, uh, yeah, they had a win against Essendon last week. So what? <laughs> Brisbane by um, 40 points. Yeah, Brisbane by two or three goals for me. And... Uh, the brothers, the Scott brothers, go head to head uh, tomorrow night at Ed Head Stadium. Uh, Geelong, uh, it's their home kind of game. I'm going for North Melbourne uh, by, I reckon, 15 points uh, over Geelong, uh, and in a real tight battle. It's going to be a good one. Your tight uh, margin? Yeah, yeah they, look, this will be an absolute cracker. Um, I, I'm going uh, North Melbourne by. Um, uh, five points. Yeah, cool, excellent. Uh, Geelong, Geelong uh, just just not too convincing at this stage, but they, Geelong also have a good chance in that game in, in a lot of ways as well. Could could be a surprise. Hey, over in Perth tomorrow night, yep, at, at uh, Domain Stadium, West Coast hosting the Crows. I'm tipping West Coast by around about five goals uh, in a game where I think they'll they'll start to kind of open it up in the second half a bit more. And get just get away from the crows. Won't smash the crows. The crows will have a, a gallant loss. Yeah, West Coast by twelve points. Um, 
yeah, it, it won't be uh, won't be a, a smashing. And uh, you know, uh, uh, as much as I dislike it to say it, the Crows are going rather well this season, and they seem very uh, uh, very solid uh, in defence and attack. So uh, uh, home advantage uh, and West Coast generally tend to uh, uh, when they're in form win rather well at home. So yeah, twelve points. Sunday afternoon we have St Kilda hosting Carlton at the Etihad Stadium. I'm tipping Carlton in this one. Um, St Kilda, whilst being quite serviceable at different times, they've got a couple of injuries now, and uh, Carlton will go in as raging hot favourites in a lot of ways, and uh, Carlton by uh, seven goals. Yeah, so we, we, are, we are differing too much in our <laughs> tips this week. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, uh, Carlton by ten goals, and... Uh, Carlton have got a, a very um, good resilience about them this year, and uh, I I think that um, um, it's Kilda have, have definitely improved a lot, and uh, they 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 just will not um, be able to withstand the uh, pressure that Carlton can apply and has been shown to, and uh, Carlton's forward line is far more potent than, than St Kilda's. Richmond against the Suns. On Sunday afternoon, it's kind of a, a three o'clock game, a two fifty pm kind of game, so it'll be uh, a tad under under lights, I guess, and um, <laughs> the yellow ball. And Richmond, no, not convincing, but I do, I will tip them. I think they'll just get over the line uh, to a real depleted Gold Coast. Maybe uh, I'll give them like a four or five goal, four or five goal margin. Yeah, Rich, Richmond will take advantage of the fact that they're up against a, a, a very much struggling um, Gold Coast Suns. And uh, lucky Richmond, uh, it'll be a day in the park for them, uh, MCG. Uh, watch out for the spectators. If you look yeah. hard enough, you might see some. 14, uh, 14 versus 15, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, what a big ground, a um, uh, waste of the MCG for this particular clash, but I suppose they didn't know this last year when yeah. it was programmed. <laughs> Could have got a um, road. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yawn uh, Richmond by uh, 15 goals. Now, I'm going to have to call this what it is, even though it probably isn't what it is. It's called the Battle of the Bridge. Yes, there's a lot of face palms right now, as you hear that term. But, um, yeah, it is the uh, Battle of the Two Sydney Teams against each other. Um, Sydney uh, are going slight favourites with the bookies, big-time favourites with the uh, just general the tipster's choice. Um, I'm going to go with Sydney, but not not with a massive lot of confidence in the, you know GWS could actually win this game. Um, but I'm going to, to tip them to, to give a margin. I'm going to go uh, Sydney by nine points. Okay, this is the the uh, you know there are three really good games this this round, and yeah. uh, and this is this is one of them. Uh, yep. um, of course, uh, Geelong North Melbourne, and uh, yes. uh, I'm a bit biased here. The the Port Bulldogs game. Well, I think, so, that, I think uh, they're this, three this big games. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be a great game, um, and uh, I'm, I'm going with GWS uh, despite um, uh, Sydney's um, uh, form. And everything like that. Uh, I, I'm just going with it on a hunch, and uh, I, I, I'm saying GWS by 11. Whilst I agree with you about those three games, uh, in the whole overall way the AFL looks at it, the big game on Monday is the Queen's birthday game, and uh, they got the uh, Freeze MND uh, Foundation thing to look after Neil, uh, support the uh, cause for Neil Danaher to try <laughs> to find a cure. Um, we've got Melbourne, uh, probably, yeah, they're going in as favourites again. Big favourites again with the tipsters. I'm going to go with Melbourne. I think Collingwood, just looking again from what we saw with Port Adelaide last week, they're just in a, in, in a world of pain. And uh, M- Melbourne will uh, dispose them pretty big. Actually, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like yeah, eight to nine goals. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I advance you one ten to eleven goals. Yeah, yeah. yeah de- definitely. Um, Collingwood's defence looked terrible. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for listening, guys, and we'll catch you next week.